Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up your Windows 10 laptop or a PC to the internet. So we're going to be connecting this up via Wi-Fi to the router here. Now in the UK we call it a router but in the rest of the world you will know this as a router. Basically it's what your service provider gives you to get you access to the internet. Now it will look different than these two but the same principle will apply. Now each of these routers have a name that's called an SSID and if you have a look at back here you will see that it says wireless SSID BT Hub 5 and then it's also got a wireless key. So on the back or the bottom of every single router you will have that because you need to know what router to connect it up to. So what we need to do is we need to go to our laptop or our PC and we need to go down to this icon down here. And we just need to left click on the mouse. And now that's going to bring up the SSIDs of the router in the area. Now, unless you live in an isolated area, not only are you going to pick up your own router, you're also going to pick up your neighbor's routers as well. You need to connect up to your router because you're not going to know the password to your neighbors. So you have to make sure that you're connecting to the correct SSID. For example, if you were connecting to this BT one here, you would have to connect to the SSID that says BT Hub 5 JZ6H. Now, in this video, we're actually going to be connecting to this TP link here. So if we flip this over, you will see here, because this is a fancy router, I do actually have three SSIDs, so it makes it slightly more complicated. I won't go into detail, but basically the first one is a 2.4 gigahertz, and these two are 5 gigahertz, so we can connect up numerous different equipments, and it will act as three different routers. 2.4 gigahertz network will normally work better at longer distances, but the 5 gigahertz network will normally work faster because it's less congested, but it doesn't work as well over longer distances. So if you're near to your router, then try the 5 gigahertz one. And if you're having problems, then try the 2.4 gigahertz one. In this instance, I'm going to be connecting to this first one here, which is the 2.4 gigahertz one. So if you have a look there, you can see there TP-Link 71EO. That's what I need to connect to. And if you see here, it says tp link 71EO. So that's what I'm going to be moving across to and I'm just going to left click on that and now it's going to ask me to tick that box if I want for connect automatically. Well I do because every time I want to turn on the laptop I want it to connect to this network and I'm going to go to connect. Now it's going to ask me for the network security key. So on this one here you can see here it says here wireless password pin. 9017117 this one here so that's what i have to type in or if we were on this one here the bt one you would be typing in that one there so it can be called a pin a wireless key a passphrase it can be called many different things but you just need to type it in to give you access to the router. Now there is an easier way to do it. So we can just physically type that in and then it's gonna work. Or if your router has this button here, which is a WPS button, that stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup, then you can just tap that button and it will save you having to enter in the details. So on this router here, it is actually this little button here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tap that button there and then it will save me having to physically enter in that pin. So let's just tap this. And now you can see there, it's flashing there. And now if we keep watching up here, you're gonna see that it's gonna automatically connect to it. It actually says here, getting settings from the router. And now there we go, it says connected, secured. And as you can see, I am now connected to the internet. And now, it's done it all for me without me having to type anything into it. So if I was to go up to here and go to Google, you can now see that I'm connected to the internet. So it's nice and straightforward. Both ways are easy. It's just that if you've got that WPS button, then it saves you having to physically type in that password. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.